Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today is your turn to have your say. I'm gonna be going through some products, seeing whether I actually like them. Do I want to buy them? Do you want me to buy them? Do you want me to review them on my channel? And wow, that is one humongous quiff. I think I feel like I need to sort that out before we carry on. I look like Mary out of something about Mary when she had a little bit of an accident with some hair gel that turned out not to be hair gel, if you know what I mean. Anyway. If you are new here, hi, my name is Gemma. I am a qualified esthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time. And I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I would really appreciate it if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Come and join the Pampered Wolf pack. We are an extremely friendly bunch. So like I said in the intro, which was semi-interrupted by a hair malfunction, I am not having a good hair day today, but we're gonna roll with it. This is your chance to have your say. So I'm gonna go through some products. These are all products that look absolutely amazing, but they are all pricey. And uh, I buy all of my own products to review on this channel. The bucket of money is not never ending, let me tell you. And uh, I keep my fingers crossed for PR on a daily basis because it will just save me an absolute fortune. So I don't want you to be kind on me. I don't want you to think, you know, don't worry about reviewing them, Gemma. We, it's all right, save your money. I really want you to be honest. Which ones of these do you actually want me to review? There are a couple of them that I will probably buy anyway because my intrigue will get the better of me. And um, I mean, once I mention some of these, you know I'm gonna buy them anyway, but are you interested in seeing a review? So let's go into the first product. So once again, apologies for my voice. I'm not quite sure which videos have gone live in which order. So I don't know whether I've already been speaking like this on my channel, but I have had a cold. I've waited for a really long time to film because I'm not in any pain, it doesn't hurt, but this voice thing just will not leave me alone. So we're gonna carry on regardless. This first product, and I will link it up here for you, is a, a brand new Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the new Instant Eye Palette, and it's called Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. Now, this is £60, and uh, which is quite pricey, like all Charlotte Tilbury products, but you do get quite a lot for your money, considering the mini palettes, the... Um, luxury palettes are around about the 42 pounds mark and you only get four shades whereas you're getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and i think it's the same in the brand new palette so this was released a few days ago and it was released on an exclusive for 48 hours i was umming and ahhing about it so much i decided not to buy it during that 48 hour period and wait to see what you'd got to say about it, whether you actually wanted me to review it. Because this is a very similar shade selection to the Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk, which I already have, and I have done a review on already. The difference with the uh, Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette is that it does have that beautiful purpley shade, which I'm really eager to get my hands on, but is that one shade worth the 60 pound price tag? I don't know. And I've probably already got it in one of the palettes that I have in the drawers behind me anyway. But this one also has much more of the sparkly shades. So less mattes, more sparkles. And I think that's why, that's where Charlotte Tilbury shadows excel. Her sparkly shades are to die for. So on, in one instant, I'm like, oh, I really want to try that. And in another instant, I'm thinking, oh, it's 60 pounds and will anybody be interested? So do let me know whether you'll be interested in a review on that. You've probably seen loads of reviews on it already because loads of people did buy it in that exclusive 48 hour period, but she will be re-releasing it soon 
for Christmas. So for the festive period, she will be releasing this and it'll be more of an evening palette rather than the daytime palette of the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So that is the first product I'm considering. Let me know if you're interested. Moving on to the next product and uh, let's face it, I'm gonna buy this anyway. I love Hourglass, it's absolutely fantastic and it's great value for money if you look at it that you're getting a lot of different product selections in one palette. And if you were to buy them individually from Hourglass, it would cost you a lot more. These are still luxury items. It's very pricey. But again, if you were to buy them all individually, it would cost you a lot more. So it's worthwhile if you are wanting to try out any of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders to wait for Christmas when these sort of products come out where you're getting a selection of items that you can try for a fraction of the cost and they're in beautiful packaging. So very, very similar to the Ghost selection that I did last Christmas and I absolutely love, I raved about it. They are absolutely gorgeous. You get one big palette and also the one big palette and there's a mini palette to choose from as well. The mini palette, all four items are completely new. They are not repeated from this palette, so they are four completely different products. I'll link them up here for you so you can see pictures of them. Unlike the mirrored packaging, it's a gold packaging on the Sculpture Collection. And the only products that are duplicated are in the larger palette of the sculpture where you get both of these two shades that you probably already have if you bought the ghost palette. So this is dim light and also I believe uh, diffused light. You're gonna get both of those again, which is slightly annoying, but um, that's the way it goes. So in the full size product, it's £81. You get the dim light and the diffuse light ambient lighting finishing powders. You also get glistening strobe light, which is your highlighting finishing powder. And the other three pans, the bronzer, the two blushes are completely different to anything you'll have seen before, unless you've bought these individually from Hourglass. So you get natural bronze light is your bronzer, and then you get vibrant blush, which is your strobe blush, and mood exposure, which is absolutely stunning. So in the mini palette, you get one finishing powder, which is soft light. The bronzer is golden bronze light, which I actually haven't tried before. It looks a little bit too golden for me, but I'm willing to try it out. The blush is mood flush, which is just stunning and the highlighter is champagne strobe light so you get a little bit of everything one bronzer one blush one highlight and a finishing powder as well so let me know if you want me to review those like i said i will probably buy them anyway because um i love hourglass i think it's my favorite luxury brand and i've had very few fails from them so the next products I want to talk about are two that I've been dying to get my hands on, but I've just, something's just stopped me as I've gone to collect the PayPal button. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know. Maybe there was that twang of guilt that maybe I should be spending this money on something else. I don't know, but I really, really am intrigued about these two palettes. And I love Natasha Denona's mini palettes and I've never had a full size palette from Natasha Denona. So I'm really eager to get my hands on at least one of these. Now, the one that intrigues me the most is the bronze palette because I just feel like the shades are more me and I'd get more wear out of them. On the other hand, the cooler toned version, which is the Glam palette, which has just been released, looks really beautiful as well. So if you have a preference, if you're interested in a review, if you're not really bothered about the Natasha Denona palettes and you'd really prefer me not to do a review, do let me know in the comment section. And um, I read all the comments, so I will take it upon your advice. 
eventually I will probably get the bronze palette. But if you're all not interested in a review, I might get it later on down the line rather than buying it now. So let me know. Okay, the last item that I want to ask your opinion on is, it's one that is a foundation brand new release and usually I jump on foundation brand new releases because I really love a foundation review and wear test. It's the one thing that I absolutely love doing on my channel and yet I'm really hesitant to buy this one because I don't like verbally bashing brands or products and it just seems like I have a vendetta against this particular brand. They have some amazing products but they are hard to find in amongst all the rubbish that they just seem to release all the time. They seem to be releasing a new product every single day. It's really hard to keep track. And uh, I get very frustrated because some of the stuff, if they just spent a little bit longer developing it, it could be absolute magic. And yet they choose to release it when it's sort of half finished in my opinion, which just makes me cross. So this is a brand new foundation release from Revolution. And um, I'm not sure if you want me to review it. I will if you want me to. This is their Conceal and Glow. I've reviewed the Conceal and Define. I've reviewed the Conceal and Hydrate. Love all the concealers that I've tried from Revolution. They're absolutely excellent. But I've not really loved any of the foundations. So if you want me to review that foundation, do let me know. I am slightly hesitant and um, I think it's become a thing. I'm not expecting any PR from Makeup Revolution anytime soon, put it that way. But uh, if you want an honest review, do let me know and I will happily do that for you. So that's it. Usually I would put all of these questions on the community page of my YouTube channel. But for some reason, if you've got an iPad rather than watching it on a phone, you're unable to see the community tab, which is, you know, I don't know why. It's just an Apple thing, I don't know. So a lot of people that watch my YouTube channel on their iPad, won't be able to see the questions that I'm asking. So I thought I'd do a little cheeky video and hopefully everybody's enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to have your say. This is your chance to have your say. If you know any other products that I haven't mentioned in this video that you would really love me to review, do let me know. I have always prided myself on trying to keep my channel balanced with regards to affordable and high end. It's been very difficult recently to keep that balance because the affordable product line, the drugstore lines, haven't seemed to release very many products over the last six months, whereas the high-end category has still been churning out product after product. So it's been a little bit difficult to keep a happy medium. Hopefully when things return to normal, we'll start to keep a balance, but I have been trying for everybody. And if there's any drugstore products that you would really like me to review, then do let me know in the comment section. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.